everyone. Welcome to Rico's Reading Room. Do you have trouble writing a story? If the answer is yes, this is the book for you. Enjoy. Ralph tells a story by Abby Hanlon. My teacher always said. Stories are everywhere. And the kids in my class were always finding them. Then my mom ran so fast that she caught up with the ice cream truck. I ran down the hallway with underwear on my head. After that, I decided to hide my Halloween candy in my bed. The dentist forgot to give me a toothbrush. Yeah, stories. Stories. But every day at writing time, I thought really hard. I stared at my paper. I stared at the ceiling. I could not write a story. Then Grandma gave me a cup of coffee and said, "Don't tell your mother." Ah! I have no story. So I looked for other things to do. I went to the water fountain. I roamed the hallways. Can I go to the bathroom again? I tried everything. Can I go help the lunch ladies? What? Stories happen to those who tell them. Then one day, after getting sent back to my desk, I begged Daisy for help. I can't write a story because nothing happens to me. Are you kidding? She said, "I've written a ton of stories about you." She began pulling her stories out of her desk. "Look at this one," she said. "Remember the time you let me brush your hair? And this one? Remember the time you knocked down all the crayons? Oh, and remember the time you painted your nails with a black marker?" Name. Daisy, Ralph has messy hair. Name, Daisy. Yikes! It was so quiet during writing time. Then crash. Daisy. Then the teacher said, "Oh no, it's permanent marker." I thought, I'll never be a great writer like Daisy. Then Daisy stapled all her stories together. Wow. She said, "This book is already thirteen pages. Can I use the stapler?" I asked. I was really good at stapling, but you have nothing to staple," said Daisy. "You have to find a story first. Just look around." So I looked for stories out the window, in the aquarium. In my desk. Why do you have socks in your desk? Hmm. And when my teacher wasn't looking, I looked for stories on the floor. That's my favorite part. Look, my next book, The Sock Mystery by Daisy. But still, no stories. Lying under my desk reminded me of lying in the grass at the park. I closed my eyes and imagined I was at the park, just like that time a little inchworm crawled on my knee. The sun was shining right into my eyes. Squinting, I picked up the wiggly inchworm and looked at it close up. And that's when my teacher found me. "What's your story about?" she asked. I opened my eyes. Um, um, I saw an inchworm. Wonderful, she said. I can't wait to read what you wrote. But there was no inchworm story. I sat down and tried to write about the inchworm, but right away I got stuck. Do you know any inchworm stories? I asked Daisy. She just rolled her eyes and kept on writing. 
and then my teacher said, "Riders, come to the rug. Time to share." Me, please. Oh, oh, oh! Pick me, Ralph. Why don't you go first? Said the teacher. I pretended that I had lost my paper. It didn't work. He's sitting on it. I walked to the front of the rug. It took a long time. I held my paper against my chest so no one could see it. I was at the park. I said, and the inchworm crawled on my knee. It was quiet. My heart went thump. Thump, thump, thump. That's when I looked at Daisy. Wow, really? Did it feel squishy, Ralphie? Did you take it home? And then everybody started asking me questions. Did your mom let you keep it? Did you touch it? Was it a baby? Was it a girl? Did it tickle? Did you name it? Wait a minute, I thought. Something did happen with that inchworm. Well, I picked up the inchworm and decided to name him Nick. I built Nick a house, but he just inched away. So I followed him, which is why I didn't notice that someone was following me. And then all of a sudden, this wobbly, crazy baby grabbed Nick and put him in his diaper. No. I tried to be calm. Come on, baby, I said really nicely. Give Ralphie the inchworm. It didn't work. Was this the end of Nick? But then I noticed Nick was escaping. He crawled right up the baby's stomach. Quickly, I rescued Nick and ran. And we spent the rest of the afternoon doing nothing together. The end. Everybody clapped and cheered. Show the picture, Ralph. Someone said, "Wonderful!" Hooray! Yeah, Ralph. I wasn't embarrassed anymore, so I did. Name, Ralph. Me, Worm. I was at the park. That was last year. This year, I write stories all the time. I keep finding stories everywhere. One hundred funny stories by Ralph. Hmm, this book might be too thick to staple. Writing tips from Ralph. One, get comfortable. Two. It's okay to ask for help. What was that funny thing I did again? Three. You can always write about what you had for breakfast. Yum. Four. Eat lots of chocolate. The end. Thanks so much for listening to my reading. I hope you loved it. Please hit the subscribe button and have a nice day.